Hi ladies, this is Carla. I'm glad you could stop by today. Today we're going to make a Easter egg shaker box with the die from KS Craft. It turned out really cute. I'll show you the first one I've made. This is uh, the shaker one. You would not have to use the shaker on it, but I did for this one. So we'll set that aside and let's get started. Now, the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and show you the die pieces. It is, uh, let's flip it over this way. Okay, this die here is the part that goes over, that covers this shaker part here and you'll need to cut one of those and then this part here this will be your back now i watched um, a tutorial by strawberry cream when she demonstrated this die because i wasn't really sure how to put it together and she cut two of these to reinforce the back which i think that's what i'm going to do too that way you could put something, you know, a little more substantial in here and you're not gonna have to worry about it being flimsy. So I cut actually, uh, let's see, I cut three of these. So I cut two to reinforce the back and I cut one to reinforce the die for the shaker. Okay, so this part goes on the back and I cut one of these for the back. And you get the words egg hunt with the shadow die, but I'm not using that. I'm just gonna put Happy Easter on mine. Then we'll see if we can flip this over. This is your side to your little box. You're gonna need two of those. I cut two of those in the solid blue like here, cut two of those in the solid blue, and then you have a layer to go over that, and I chose this paper, and you'll need two of those, one for each side. Then you're going to need just to cut one of these. This is the base. This is what you will be attaching your uh, sides to and the egg front and back. And then the last thing you have is the handle. You have two pieces there. This is like the base for the handle. And this is like a little uh, decoration layer piece to go on top. I've already cut those out. So I did the blue with this paper. Now this blue I've had in my stash and I'm pretty sure I got it at Michael's. And the uh, Easter paper I've had in my stash and I got that at Michael's when they used to have their hot buys. We miss those, don't we? <laughs> and uh, I had picked up an Easter packet of that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. I have cut acetate for my shaker, and I've cut out two of these. I'm going to layer my foam. This foam I got from, I'm pretty sure I got it from Etsy, and I've had it for quite some time, and I haven't used it for a while. I'm not really sure where on Etsy, but I think it's two millimeters, just a little bit thicker than what you would find probably at Hobby Lobby or My Goals or one of the little craft stores. So I want to do first, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get this glued together so we can get that drying. Just gonna tap a little around my edges here. I thought I got that going. We'll do it again so we can get that down in there. All right, let's try this again. I've had cataract surgery. So I just had the second one a couple days ago and I'm trying to get used to it a little bit. I'm going to be, I'll need reading glasses. I have um, lazy eye in one eye, amblyopia, which doesn't focus and never will. So I really couldn't have the lens implants because it, it wouldn't make any difference 
for me, okay, we're gonna lay this on top. I'm trying to get that lined up as evenly as I can. So when it dries, it will give me a smooth edge and not have any sticking out any further than it should. You want those nice and even, as even as you can get them. Okay, once we get that on, I'm gonna kind of press that down. This needs to come over, I'm gonna hold that a little bit. Get that on the sides, just like that. Now this cuts out really well on my Empress die cut machine don't have any problems. Now, I've always had problems cutting out acetate. Do any of you have trouble getting your dye cut machine to cut out acetate? I even shimmed it more to give it more pressure, but I still usually have to use my scissors to go ahead and uh, get it cut out. If you have any tricks about getting acetate cut out with your die cut machine, I would love to hear those. But anyway, like I said, I've had my cataract surgery and so I'm trying to get used to reading glasses now. So let's go ahead and get this on here. It has to still even that up. I'm sure that's going to take a while to dry, but I thought we would get this together first, and it can be drying while we are assembling the rest of the little shaker box. Okay, let's see which way this goes. This way. I think I've got glue on my acetate. I usually end up with glue all over me. Oh. Get a little cloth over here. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Okay, good enough. Ooh, more down here. All right, let's take this and just lay it. There's another one. I don't want it on the inside because I'll never get it out there. <laughs> Let's lay this on top. Kind of slide that to fit. And the glue will dry clear, so if it's a little bit off, it's okay. I'll we'll have to wipe that off later. here and kind of dab that down so get that to stick. Oops. Okay. Move that off. I'm going to lay it over this way. Kind of even that up while it's still wet. Get that down. How'd I get that off of there? Come on, come back down. You can't do that. You gotta be down here on the bottom. There we go. All right. Okay, we've got that on. And now we're gonna take uh, the little piece of trim and lay this <clears throat> over the top of this and be letting that dry as well. Some glue around this rim. It's 
hard to believe Easter's just around the corner. I tell you, I enjoy Easter. The meaning behind it and everything. It's and the promise of new life and growth. I do enjoy that. Now, let's get this laid on. Try to get it evened up. To the edges, cover that the best we can. Hold that a little bit. No, and when I went to the ophthalmologist, they found, I think they called it a nevus, 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 or something on the back of one of my eyes. It's like a little growth on the back of it. So my husband and I are going to have to go to St. Louis on Thursday next week, which is about, it's about a four hour drive to a specialist to see what's going on behind the eye. He said it's probably just fine, but I have a history of melanoma. So we just want to make sure there isn't anything serious going on back there. And you know, it's always good to find out and then you can find out it's okay, you don't worry about it, or you can find out it needs to be treated, and you treat it, right? Okay, I think that's pretty even on there. You can still see a little glue, but we can clean that up later. We're gonna lay that aside and let that dry. Let's get started now on the basket itself. Okay, whoops, sorry, I hit that. First thing I wanna do is I want to get this glued on top. That is going to go inside the shaker. So let's get that glued on. Once you get all your shapes cut out, it really goes together pretty nicely. Okay, we'll put this on here. Some of you who have followed me, you know that I have a booth now. And so we had our spring open house um, last weekend, and that went really well. That was fun. So I'm gonna lay that up there. I'm gonna come over here. This is the back. So I'm gonna glue these two together, like I said, to make it just a little more substantial. If you wanna put, you know, cause um, I've been picking up little things. I have two grandchildren of these. I will put these in my booth, and if they don't sell, then my grandchildren can have them. I'm not going to make a whole bunch, just two. I may make one on a shabby chic order, just to see how that flies, but these two for sure. But anyway, I was saying, if you want to put like little bottles of bubble blowers, in there, or, you know, little goodies, a little bit of candy. You want it to be able to hold it without it getting all floppy. Now we're gonna put some glue around the decorative piece. These are X's and O's. Just around there, I'm gonna put just a few tabs of glue inside here. There, one over there, looks good. We're just going to lay this on. Oops, I don't want that on there. And now we're going to add the sides to the sides. <laughs> Maybe I should say we're going to add the layer to the sides. So we're going to put glue on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's put this down here like so. So what have y'all been up to? 
I know it's been a while since I've been on here. I think I mentioned I got a new editing program and I haven't had time to really sit down and try to figure it out. I did try to watch a tutorial on it this morning and um, I'm going to have to just get my computer in front of the TV set and go for it. I can't watch it unless I'm kind of, I'm kind of a hands-on visual person. So I'm going to have to just do it as they say and pause it when I need to. I need to poke out a few more of these little, uh, little dots here that didn't come out. <clears throat> it makes that scallop really pretty to have those little kind of embossing in there. Those little holes. That one. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take all these little tabs and we're going to fold those all inward. And fold these all over to the back side, like so, put these, and we'll do this one the same, there we go, and then this one. far over and get it right there on that little score line fold those now what I like to do with these because <clears throat> as you can see this egg is curved and it's going to be fitting on the curve so I like to take this and kind of work it a little bit to kind of break those paper fibers down a little bit so it will be easier to uh, get it to fit on there. You don't really want to bend it. You just kind of want to work it and to that curve like like so. Do the same thing with this one. Just kind of work that a little bit. Makes it go on much easier. I did that with the first one and I it really went together well. So let's just hope this one does the same thing. It should. Okay, so now we've got these curved. We want to take the base and we want to fold those in. Fold them up, I guess you could say. Now, the first thing I did was I put on I put on the front and the back. Well, I put on the front and then I worked this on both sides. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this and it goes to the short end. I'm going to put the back on first because we haven't actually made our shaker yet. So let's take some glue. I'm going to put it along this little edge, the short end. on here I'm gonna turn it like this I can always do it better if I lay it down watch what I'm doing here get that on there as straight as you can and take my fingernail in there make sure that gets all the way to the edge gets that glue on there nicely yeah that works Okay, while well that's drying, we are going to go ahead and finish our shaker. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, oh, I forgot to tell you, these little dies also came with the kit. They're little Easter eggs. So I cut out a few of those, and so we're going to put a few of those inside the shaker as well. 
So I'm going to take these. It's always hard to get things off of this silicone mat. I love the mat. It's easy to clean up, but it is a little hard to get it off of there. Come on, come on, come on. Goodness. Okay. <laughs> Lay those in there. I use the blue and the lavender, and then there was a piece of paper that had little yellow chicks on there. Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way, but gotta remember, got this faced. Oh, goodness. I had a pokey tool once to do this, but all right, I can't see very well. I think let's turn this one over. And that one's okay. That one needs to be turned over, and this one needs to be there. He fell turned over. Then I've got some of these little sprinkles that I've had. I don't have any little bunnies, but these are Easter y looking. So I'm going to take some of these little sprinkles and sprinkle in. There's some little pearls in there, too. A little more of those. And then I've got some in my stash here that I had ordered from AliExpress some time ago. And this is just a, a big variety of uh, sprinkles and Easter colors. So I'm going to put several of those in there. Okay, and let's put these back. And now, I want to take the back. We're going to add glue all around this rim, and then we're going to lay this on top of it to secure all of our little shaker bits in there. If any of you who are watching, if you do a YouTube channel and you do like uh, voiceovers, would you mind leaving in the comment box below like, um, like do you use your uh, voiceovers with a microphone? A separate microphone does it plug into your computer I can't find anywhere on my computer where it says it would plug in but if you do a voiceover could you leave me a message and tell me uh, how you actually record it and with what I really want to improve my videos but I can't find anyone around here who knows any more than I know so I would appreciate it very much or if you know I mean I'm like I said I'm using my new one's gonna be Filmora Wondershare and I'm looking at uh, the videos tutorials and I'm not sure you know how to do it all but I am gonna work on it I need to just make a simple video and go for it Okay, we're going to have to let this dry. So I'm just going to move that this way a little bit, looks like. Okay, I'm going to move this over here so I can finish drying. And while that's drying, scooch that back over. We're going to go ahead and put the trim on the handle. Let me get some of this out of my way. Maybe this will get it off better. Okay. So here I've got the trim, and here's the 
the handle. I just love this blue. Now I see this has quite a few little holes that need the need to be poked down. Let's see if this can get. I think I'm gonna have to get a new little weeder tool here. This is I think getting worn out a little bit. I use it a lot. It's working pretty good. Well, I am getting closer to 4,000 and I do have my giveaways ready to give away, but I know I have not been consistent getting my videos out and I apologize and I thank you if you're still following me. Uh, I hope to get things all lined out here and get on a better schedule with all of that. There we go. So let's lay that down and we're going to take our art litter glue. Just put that along this little strip and add that to our handle. Lay that up here. I like this paper, this Easter paper. Okay, let's get that kind of lined up there. That looks pretty good. Now this again, I'm gonna curve it a little bit. You can use your fingers or if you have a, a scoring knife, you can run that along it. I think that's gonna work for me. That glued down there and let that dry. Now I think this is ready. We can go ahead and start putting one of our sides on. Okay, so we've got this one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add glue to each little tab and then we're gonna add glue to this tab here because this will attach to the side and this will attach to the egg. You can see it like so. So let's go ahead, we'll get our glue on this. And then on each little tab, you wanna make sure when you're gluing it on that you have the scallop edge going to the top. So I'm gonna fold this up and I am going to place this like so on that bottom. And I can feel behind it that it is even. Let that stick a little bit. Place that in, and then you can see that's even along the bottom. So now we're just going to take the side here, and we want it to come right up to the edge of that egg. Now I'm going to go ahead and just push this down and I may have to, you know, use my finger to even it up when I turn it over and look at the other side. Yeah, we want to push this in a little. Right there, so that's even. I'm going to push this one out a little. I'm going to come in with my bone folder here and kind of get those mashed down right up to that edge on the outside so that will be nice and clean there. looks nice. Now we're going to hope <laughs> that our shutter or shaker section is dry enough and it is. Oh, isn't that cute? All those little things in there. Cute, cute, cute. 
Okay, <laughs> now I want to you think, should I put, I did put that on first. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this side on this one first before I add that on. So again, we want this rolled a little bit. And we're going to put the glue along this little tab here. as well as each little tab here. And we're going to take the side one and we're going to add it on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably fold that down like this to get that on there. I don't think I'm in there quite enough. I need to come up a little bit. Let's see. on that folded edge. There we go. And then again, when we have glued these little tabs, we just want to come in and curve those around the egg and stick those on. And again, we'll have to kind of adjust it, tweak it a little bit to get it. Come in here. And press these all down. Make sure we've got that glued on. And it looks so neat, even on the inside, I think. Push this out. I kind of push that in a little bit. out to the edge looks good and now we want to attach the front and I think to attach the front we're gonna have to put this guy on first on the bottom one and then we'll just add to the tabs and flip it over and uh, get it stuck on there I'm gonna do these and these all at the same time. See how well those go together? So cute. And by doubling uh, those up, it really makes a pretty substantial little, little basket. Okay, so I want to put I'm going back and forth here. <laughs> Let's put this on the bottom. Get that lined up. And if it starts sticking a little bit to the sides, get this lined up good down here. And then we'll flip it over. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's flip it over. And we can go inside here might be hard for you to see. I'm going to just go inside here and again I'm going to take my bone folder and push those up to the edge so they get glued down, look nice right up against that edge. Okay, that looks good. This one, let's start getting this one on before it all dries. Kind of hard for me to get in there too. Push that out, a little bit of that um, foam was showing. Maybe I can cover that up a little bit. Get that 
that's okay. We're going to be covering that anyway. Good. Okay. Now that needs to dry just a little bit, I think. Let's go ahead and push these down a little more. These are kind of up and flat, so that glue come on out there. Looking good. Okay, while that's drying, we're just going to set it up like this. And I'm going to take these two little eggs I cut out. These are dies that I've had. So I'm going to cut these out. And like I did on the other one, I think I'm going to put them at the top. I put the the blue one on top this time. Okay, we're going to glue Happy Easter on there. These are two little word uh, tags that I had that came in a set that I keep with my Easter stuff. That way when I get my Easter bags out, they all have everything in their Easter. I need to poke out some of these. I wish these had a shadow layer, but they didn't. I'm gonna have to look for something with a shadow layer. And I like this because it's small. Sometimes they're just too large to put on some of your smalls that you make. Let's get that out of the E. And let's go ahead and get Happy Easter glued on. It's another one in the H. There's my pokey tool. Love my pokey tool. Oh, there's another one. My goodness. Alright, let's get our glue on. I think they're trying to stick to me. My fingers are kind of sticky. Alright, here. Oop. Come back. A little bit of glue on that. I'll put that up here. It says happy. I kind of want to go on at an angle. And then Easter. Good. We're going to take some glue and just add that to the top. Like so. Let's say Happy Easter. And then I have some embellishments that I had either made or had been gifted to me. And this is one sweet little... Uh, it's kind of like a tissue paper rosette with a little bunny and and I like the blue and the yellow kind of goes with that so I'm going to put that down here in the corner enough on there let's put him down here Cute, cute. It's going to take that a little while to dry. But while that's drying, I'm going to turn this around and go ahead and get my handle on. It's it's curved nicely, so I'm going to put that in here. Looks like maybe I didn't get quite enough glue on that. Let's put a little more glue on this handle here. How about that? Yeah, that looks stuck. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to put glue here. And I'm going to come right between these two little scallops. 
I'm gonna go inside and just mash that down there and stick that. I want to get it straight. I'm afraid to pick my little box up because I don't think my this embellishment is stuck well enough that it could be, but I mean, our glitter glue is pretty good, but that's pretty fast. I'm going to hold this a second. So seriously, I would appreciate any comments that you could make either on your video or if you liked this little basket and maybe some other ideas you might do with this basket. Like I said, I could see this uh, a shabby chic, you know, with vintage bunnies or chicks with the scallop on there would be pretty and you could use, oh, some of that Cabin Creek seam binding. I love that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put this here and let this dry a little bit for the handle. Then we only have one more thing left to do. On the other one, as you can see, I added some of this yellow rickrack for trim and I thought that kind of brought out the yellow a little bit and on this one I was hoping I had blue but I don't have any blue small rickrack and it really begs for the smaller rickrack rather than the large I think that's going to stay well enough oh how cute 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 so cute so I have green and it's a pretty bright green. Let's see what I did with it. Did I lay it under here? There it is. It's like a, a grass green, but that'll brighten it up a little bit with the blue. I had this, um, let's see, it is, something that would tell me, I'm gonna say it's a quarter of an inch or, yeah, it's a quarter of an inch wide. So I'm gonna use my, tape here. I'll turn this down. I'm going to use my double-sided tape. That's what I like to use. I'm going to start at the bottom. And this is an eighth inch tape. I'm going to go all the way around the shaker. And if you felt like you would rather use, you know, a fabric glue or maybe add glue on top of this to give it reinforcements, you know, that, that probably wouldn't hurt. I've never had trouble using uh, my double-sided tape to attach, like, you know, ribbon or whatever. I'm going to tear this off. Okay, let's take that off. Use my pokey tool here. I'm going to get this backing off. And have it stuck there good enough. Let's stick it down a little better. Let's come in here, see if we can get the here we go. Just pull this off. And then I'm just going to start with my green wig rack. And I'm going to start down here on the bottom. I'm going to just lay it in there. I want to keep it pretty close to the top edge. Oh, this really is pretty on here. I'm kind of glad maybe I didn't have blue. Contrast is nice. And let's see if I get that on there. That looks good. Let's keep going around. again I 
and I'm going to cut that. Let's snip that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my art glitter glue just to secure that. Keep it from fraying a little bit. Okay. So there you have your Easter little shaker box and then this is the first little Easter shaker box. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and maybe you're thinking about getting ready for Easter making a few little cute things so maybe this will be some inspiration for you. Thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate you so much and as I said I've had some things going on plus I'm still trying to figure out that new editing program. Um, I, I don't know, when you're my age, is don't have anyone to help you. It's hard to look at that or know how to put it all together, but I am going to do it. I will do it. So, thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please hit that little like button, and if you are a new viewer and have not had a chance to subscribe, I would appreciate you hitting that little subscribe button. So, until next time, bye-bye.